Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This video with the title Save and Load Workspace Variable, we are going to learn how to save and load the workspace variables and how to remove or clear all or some of the workspace variables. To save the variables of the workspace, we use the save command and to load the, the variables to the workspace, we use the, lo the load command. Let's check first the save command. For the save command, save command will save all or some the variables of the workspace. To save all the variables, just use save and then space and then the file name, any file name. So the file name here is represented for any file name. Or we can use save space and open parentheses and then open quotation mark using single quotation mark or double quotation mark, no problem. And then the file name you selected. For the case of saving some of the variable, for example, if we have many variable and only we need to save two variable, variable one and variable two. So there are two ways. The first one is save space and then file name space and then variable one space and then variable two. Or we can say save and then open and close parentheses and inside that we write the file name inside quotation comma and then variable one comma and then variable two inside the quotation. In the case of load, we can load all or some of the variable to the workspace and to load all the variable just we use load space and then the file name or load and then space and then the file name inside parentheses and inside quotation single or double is okay to load some of the variable for example we have many variable and only we need to load only two variable in that sense load and then the file name and then variable one and variable two and space among these or load and then open parentheses, file name inside the quotation mark, comma, variable one inside the quotation mark, comma, and then variable two inside the quotation mark, and then close parentheses. And please note that the saved file, I mean the saved file during the saved the, the workspace variable, had it called the mat file because the extension is the file name you selected here for example file name the file name dot mat and uh, during the save and load comment or process we can add or not the extension to the name for example during the save file we can write save file name dot mat or we don't mention that all dot mat just save the file name without dot mat and same as the load for example, load the file name, we can say load the file name or we can add dot mat. The third thing is the mat file can only be read inside MATLAB using the, the, the load command or the save command. And no other parameter, for example, the text editor or even MATLAB editor can read the mat file. Let's check how to use the save and load command. And for today's example, we talk this example and explain in detail during the video of variable assignment. Please review this video if you need more details. But simply, we use the law of cosine. And for example, if we know the side A and side B and the gamma, and we need to estimate it the side C, so the c square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab cosine gamma. And in case we have a, b, and c, and we need to estimate the alpha, so alpha is equal to cosine inverse b square. I mean, alpha, we consider the two sides. So it will be b square plus c square minus a square divided by 2bc, which is b and c. And uh, the example we took during the video of the variable assignment, we give A, B, and gamma with these variable names and value. And 
we requested first to define ABC in, in, in the command window and then we used the law of cosine to estimate the C side and then we used the law of cosine to estimate the alpha and let's do that in MATLAB just simple and quick revision I open MATLAB from here and this is the window and let's quickly write the, the equation so a equal to 27 semicolon to suppress the echo and then b is equal to 43 and then the gamma because gamma is special character we should write it in like follow the variable names which we explained in the variable assignment so we can write gamma which is equal to 105 semicolon enter now we defined all the variable and if we check the workspace here we can find a b and gamma and then we need to write c and if we check this c is coming from c square equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cosine gamma so we need to take square root to have only c and this is alpha alpha is equal to cosine inverse b square plus c square minus a square divided by 2 bc so to write that in matlab so for the we need first the like this so i write just c and then up arrow again i just write c and because this is in the common history we wrote before i can see equal or just c and then c equal for example and then press up arrow i can have the previous example enter we have the c value and then also for alpha we can write press the up arrow and we can have the previous comment and just enter so now we defined a b gamma and then estimated c and estimated alpha let's check what is the new requirement for us and the new requirement for us is for the previous example we need to save all the variable in the in the file name triangle underscore vras so for the previous example we need first to save all the variable in the file name triangle underscore VARS VARS coming from variables so to do so let's go to MATLAB and in MATLAB just we need here to write like the the save command so we need to write save space and then triangle underscore variables and if we press enter the variable will save but we need to check where this file or this variable will be saved and to check this is the the current folder pass and current folder pass say it is c user cell and download lecture lecture code this is of course will be different from your current folder pass so to check that one just copy highlight it just click and then control c to copy or right click and copy and then open your like the this pc or my computer and then here you can right click and paste or control v enter so here i can know this is my pc and then see user cell and download lecture code this is the same pass and this is empty folder let's put side by side here with this window and then press please note it this window I mean the, the folder once I press enter here the file the math file already generated here so like th this is the place where the file the math file will be saved okay we understand that now so please remember that these variable in the workspace so we know the value so if we write alpha for example alpha and press enter the value will be 27.5521 which is shown here and if we write a we will have a value but what if if we just need to remove all of this value we need to clear the workspace we have two things so the first thing is we can right click in the workspace area and select clear workspace or we can right here in the command window clear 
If we wrote clear, it means that clear enter all these variables was erased from the workspace. So if we again write alpha enter, it will say this is unrecognized function or the variable because the variable alpha we removed from the workspace so he can't remember what what was the alpha value so let's go back to the our presentation check what is the question is and the second question is clear the workspace as we know as we did now so right click in the workspace and select clear workspace or right clear workspace the third one we need to only load the triangle side which means a b and c please remember that when we save the workspace there was inside a b c alpha and gamma so we have five variable so if we need to only load the three variable so we should select that let's go to the matlab and do that so we need to load and then what's the 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 the, the file name the file name is try sorry triangle underscore variables space if we click enter all the variable will be loaded again but we need only three which is a b and c and click enter please check this workspace now we have a b and c only three variables and if we need to load all we can repeat the command just up arrow as i teach you and then remove abc please check this workspace here click enter now instead of loading only three he load all the command again so he load like that abc alpha and gamma and if we write alpha now enter we will have the alpha value so now we know how to load and and how to save the, the, the variable on the workspace what is the math folder or math file and the math file it is like the file which we save the variable or we load the variable from the workspace that's all for today thank you bye bye